everybody. Welcome to my Epic Kitchen and Angelica and Debbie's Epic Kitchen parties this week. Thank you so much for hosting. Me, 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 chicken. Ben likes to help me out in the kitchen, as does Alyssa. Um, today, I want to show you how fast and how easy it can be to make a healthy, well-balanced meal. I know for me, I'm a, I'm a mom of two. I'm um, a stay-at-home mom. I, oh yeah, definitely don't touch that, buddy. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I own uh, another business as well, and my husband works a lot, so. So we're super, super busy. So there's nothing I love more than to help other people figure out how to stress less in the kitchen, because trust me, it's possible. As much as I love to cook, it can be the most stressful thing, especially when you're pressed for time and you, you wanna make sure everybody's eating healthy, good quality food. Well, my friends, Epicure is the answer. This is a lemon, okay? So today we are going to be making fish. Um, I, Debbie, I know you don't eat fish, but that's okay, because you can actually do this really with chicken. I did it with chicken yesterday, so um, we just needed a change in this house, because we eat chicken a lot, actually. So we're gonna do chicken, some steamed veggies, some rice. You can substitute it with cauliflower rice if you'd like. Um, and then we're gonna have a cute little dessert that the, that the kids will love, and so will you. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a fun night. Okay, Alyssa, are you gonna come help? Okay, mm -hmm. come on. Okie dokie. So I have a bunch of vegetables here. We'll me, do those me, in a second. Me, 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 me. I want a blueberry. <laughs> okay, so I a blueberry. first we're gonna do the rice, okay? okay? So can you pour? So we like to eat brown rice in this house. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mommy's gonna help you. Dump that in there. Thank you. Do it. Can you dump this one? Can you dump this one? Yeah, there you go. Dump it in. <laughs> Good job. I have more. Yeah, we're gonna do one more, okay? And then Sissy's gonna do the water. There you go. Dump that in. Okay, so I don't know if you guys cook brown rice, but if you are cooking good brown rice on a stove talk, it can take up to 45 minutes, um, which is, unbelievable for rice. <laughs> um, so ain't nobody got time for that anymore. So I'm gonna show you with our multi-purpose steamer that you can have brown rice cooked in 10 minutes. For me and my microwave, all microwaves are different. My microwave takes 10 minutes. I know my mom has a multi-purpose steamer as well, it takes her 15, but still, shaves off so much time. Fill it up all the way to the top. Okay, just one? Two. So I added two cups of brown rice and two cups of water. Something I, I do as well is, um, you wanna mix that up for a minute? Sometimes I add, I'm not gonna do it tonight just because of the menu, but sometimes I like to add chicken broth, which we call nourish broth or vegetable broth right here. So I don't know if you can see from the light, but veg this vegetable broth is amazing. It has 2% of your daily sodium. If you look at, uh, vegetable broths from like Campbell's Food, for example, the sodium is through the roof, even if you get low sodium. Okay, let, leave it in. So sometimes if you wanna, one sec, if you wanna add extra flavor, you would, hold on buddy, <laughs> you would um, add some of that in there, some of the nourish broth. Those things are actually, it's actually really high in vitamin B, and vitamin B12, B6, um, and high in fiber too, which is really great. So all I'm gonna do, I put the tray on top. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. What does that machine do? It's a microwave. And I'm gonna heat it up for 10 minutes. So I know some people have a bit of a gripe with, oop, yeah, let's not do that. Have a bit of a gripe with um, cooking in the microwave. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am a, a convert, I've converted. I've done a lot of research on uh, how microwaves work because at first I was skeptical. There is that saying like, let's just nuke it up in the microwave and a lot of people are like, don't stand close to the microwave, like you're gonna get radiation or something like that. Um, but microwaves actually use electricity and it's the same electricity that you use in your house for lamps. <laughs> it's, it's no different. It, it um, radiates the food, the, the water molecules in the food 
are vibrating so fast, it becomes hot. And that's how it heats up your food. So it's heating up your food quickly. And uh, with things like vegetables and proteins, you don't need to add water. So when you're on a stove top and you're adding water to like broccoli or something like that, you're actually extracting nutrients out of your vegetables. In the, in the multi-purpose steamer, you don't have to do that. So, put the multi-purpose steamer in there. And what I'm gonna do, the vegetables don't take as long. So halfway through, I'll pop the vegetables in the same steamer. Because there's a tray, because there's a tray, um, I can actually do two things at once. Ta -da! This is our four-in-one mandolin. I love this thing, but you gotta be careful, it's very sharp. Um, so I've already cut up carrots. Um, the kids like them when they're really small. I get the colorful ones too, because it's always fun. Um, but you know, carrots can be sometimes a choking hazard, so I like to make sure that they're nice and small. And I've used the mandolin to chop that. them up. It has four little trivets with different designs on them, so you can do different shapes, which I find awesome. But literally, boom, 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 boom. So I don't know if anybody else spends a ton of time chopping up veggies. This is too easy. It is really easy. There we have it. So that, so all the vegetables were pre-washed and and cut just to save time because I know we all have stuff to do. Um, easy, easy. Yeah, super easy. So what we're gonna do for vegetables? We got a smorgasbord here. We got some asparagus, some broccoli, some cauliflower, and some colored carrots. Um, I was going to add peppers as well, but there's just so much there and it's only us three eating. So it's, it's a lot of food. I tend to make a lot of food. Okie dokie. So this, the fish we're actually gonna cook last and I'm gonna blow your mind with how fast it is. So what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, flavor the fish with I chose to do lemon dilly. I don't know if you saw my post that I did where I had all the different spices. I decided to experiment to see because I've heard so many people tell me different things. But I think lemon and dill is the most classic thing on any, any kind of fish that you could possibly do. So I decided to go with our classic lemon dilly um, seasoning. Now, let me read the ingredients here, if I can find them. That's the dip mix. Oh, ingredients. Dill, herbs, garlic, onion, black pepper, lemon. That's it. It's super fresh. There's no preservatives. There's nothing in there that's going to hurt you. It's great. Like, it's just phenomenal. And the thing is, is that you don't have to just use it for something like fish. And you don't have to use it for what it says on here. Here it has a dip that you can make, and it also has a tzatziki you can make. Um, or a spread that you can make. But you can add it to veggies. You can add it to... You can add it to potatoes. You can add it to really great with chicken. I've made veggies and dip with this. It really is multi-purposed, which is why I love it. Open up the cap on the Do you say please, mommy? Can you help mommy? Mommy's gonna. Do you have to do it with me? Okay. Good job. Okay. Do it on the fish though. Wow. You're like a chef, dump it on. Good job. We're gonna do some more. We gotta do it in the spots that aren't, that don't have it on. Well, he's gonna have to go back and spread it all over, I think. Cause that is a pile of lemon dilly. Oh my goodness. He's going back for more. If you um, end up following my VIP page, that's where I post all of my demos, you will see both kids helping me, but Ben just started taking a huge interest um, last week, and it's pretty hilarious, as you can probably tell by this one. Okay, no more, okay? That's enough lemon dilly. Um, but you know, monkey see, monkey do, right? They see what you do. Yeah, they have stuff on them, don't they? Mommy's gonna wash them, don't worry. Um, monkey see, monkey do. Hold on. 
They see they see me cooking in the kitchen with good food, and they want to do it too. And actually, Alyssa asked me this morning, "Can you can you make can you show me how to make an egg? I want to do it myself." And I showed her how to make her own eggs, and she did it this morning. You just want to do everything I say. Now I know how to make eggs. That's right. Now you can make me eggs. <laughs> Watch out for that, buddy. I know you want to do all of them, don't you? I do Okay, so the rice is still in there. It's not fully cooked yet, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna lay these vegetables out on top of the tray. So it's not going in with the rice. A couple of them might fall in, but we don't care about mixing or some people don't like their food touching, but we're not like that. Or at least I'm not. There. Melissa eats her food separate dough. sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Like eating the rice with the rice. So I've I actually heard um, some other consultants tell me that they fill their entire multi-purpose steamer with raw veggies to the top and uh, cook them, which is amazing. So no, I'm not adding any extra oil. I'm not adding any extra water. What's gonna happen is the microwave is going to allow the food to cook in its own natural um, moisture and water, and it's gonna it's gonna cook that way. So that's the reason and why. That. One sec, bud. And that. That's the reason why it uh, hold it retains its uh, nutrients. You've probably heard that before, actually. That oh, watch out, bud. You've probably heard that where. Um, Vegetables lose nutrients once uh, once you heat them up or once you cook them. It's because of the water, mostly anyways. I think raw, regardless, is always gonna be the best. We're not gonna use that one just yet, okay? So I actually cut up too many veggies, which is okay. I'm gonna give this guy a little bit of a wash. Oh yeah, the lemon, we forgot. We forgot about the lemon. Let mommy cut it. Okay, check this puppy out. This is our prep pro <laughs> chef knife. It comes with a sheath because it's sharp. Had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> so, uh, what? You just cut again. Yeah. You just cut me No, I'm cutting it. Because what I'm going to do I'm gonna put fresh lemon on it. You wanna put the fresh lemon on the fish? Okay. Oopsies, try again. Good job. Good job, let's do. Looks great. And the next thing I'm gonna get that away from him, I'm going to bring out our citrus press. So this thing is super heavy duty, as you can hear. I love it. So there's like a, there's a green, it's, it's a two in one citrus press. So there's a green side for lime and there's a yellow side for lemon. So what I'm gonna do is pop that puppy in there. Alyssa, do you wanna try this? Hold on, let Alyssa do it first. Okay, let's, let's, Sissy, okay, ready? Good job, now Sissy's turn. Oh, my turn. Then we share. There we go, thank you, good sharing. Now can you get it over there? Watch what she does. All over, make sure you get the tops too. Very good, Ben, you can try one more time. Just for sh because you shared with Sissy, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Good job. High five. Thanks, Alyssa. You're welcome. I've done my book. Good job. Very much. Uh, what? Okay, so mm -hmm. we have a minute left on there. So you know what? Because I have some time, it's crazy. Ten minutes, and I have some time. 
Normally at meal time, I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay, so I just want to show you something really quickly. Um, I think I posted about our, our exclusive 30-day um, collection. But we have one all the time. It's three weeks of easy dinners. And essentially what it is, it's 15 meal solutions. So it, they basically it's flavor packs to flavor your favorite types of meal. So you get all of the, the, the um, spices, they come together. You get an easy to follow recipe. I heard somebody say this and I loved it. I love you, but we gotta be quiet. Thank you. I heard somebody say this and it made me laugh. You bring the fresh, we'll bring the flavor. And it's so true. All of the ingredients that you need are basic pantry ingredients, like you saw. Um, I had some fish in the freezer. I had limes, or lemons, sorry. Um, rice I keep in the cupboards. We always have vegetables in the house. So everything is, is easy that way. So it doesn't matter what your diet is. You could, you could be vegetarian, you could be vegan, you can be um, on the keto diet. I did, um, I did a candida cleanse recently and uh, was using Epicure. So um, I, it's, it's really simple to do. So that collection is one of my favorite because it's, it, you get 15 meal solutions um, and most of them make so much food that you, you have left over. So you eat once or you make once, you eat twice or thrice. And uh, that collection is $53. Okay, one second, okay? Hold on, let go of mommy. Let's see here. Let's see if it is ready. Oh my, don't touch, very, very hot. Do you see the steam? Those are definitely cooked. Those are definitely cooked, Oh, you see, as much as he's making me laugh, every time I cook something and, it, and I'm always blown away, it's hilarious, I'm always like, <laughs> Look at that. So fresh veggies, no added oil. Oh, amazing. And the rice underneath is cooked. It's hot right now, so I'm just gonna leave it sitting there for a minute until it's time to show you at the end. Then we are going to put the fish in the round steamer. So I am an Epicure addict, so I have multiple steamers. And uh, I'm not afraid to hide it. Good mommy. Thank you, Ben. So this is actually our new round steamer that just came back in stock. This one's really good. I make soups all the time because it takes me 10 minutes. Um, so this one's really, really great for soups. I've seen people make bread. I've seen people make, um, uh, so they do the whole rotisserie chickens, breads, desserts. This is great for cakes. Um, everything pops out of it because it's silicone. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it in here. And because there's m uh, quite a few breasts or uh, fillets in there, I'm gonna put it in for five minutes and see where we're at. Okay, while that's in there. So what's the time we're at right now? We did 10 minutes, five minutes, 15. Last but not least, I'm sure Alyssa's gonna wanna do this. We're gonna make a special dessert. Yeah, you're gonna do it, don't worry, buddy. Um, we're gonna make something we like to call watermelon, oh my goodness, keep your shirt down, you weirdo. Watermelon pizza. Who doesn't like pizza, right? Me, 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 me. Okay, so all I did, I got a watermelon, I cut it into pizza slices and what we're gonna do we're gonna add some yogurt so one's gonna be mine I'll do the smaller one for me because you guys like this stuff because I like to use this kind of yogurt it's um, an alternative yogurt I try to stay away from dairy as much as possible this is a really good brand it's called Yosto and they have a coconut flavor so I use that I use that a lot but these guys like their natural vanilla yogurt Okay, so Alyssa, can you grab a spoon for you and a spoon whoa, for Beth? Whoa, whoa, and a spoon whoa. for me, please. Okay. And for you, a spoon for Beth. Yeah. Okay, so you got so Alyssa, you can do half the pizza and Ben will do half, okay? okay. So Benny, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the yogurt on top of the watermelon. Like pizza sauce. Tomatoes. But you can just you can put a bunch. Like I'm gonna just 
plop it on. Because who doesn't like yogurt? Oh, you probably, I don't know, well, actually, you do know you like this one. Thank you. I'm making potato eyes. Potato eyes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, let's. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to add, this is the best part, this is the little treat, okay? This is our <laughs> summer berry mix. So let me tell you what's in here. Dun, dun, dun. So I've made this for like, I've done, you can do it for like a cheese ball, that would be really great. Um, but I like to make it for fruit dips and stuff like that because both of the kids really like it and it's guilt free. There's, there's um, nothing really bad in here. Oh, it says that you can make ice pops too. Somebody was saying they wanted kid ideas. That's a phenomenal kid idea to make popsicles with this stuff. Okay, so ingredients, organic cane sugar, raspberries, hibiscus, strawberries, organic, yeah. So, and it tastes really good. We've actually put it in our waffles too. We mix it in the batter with our waffles. You don't even need syrup. You're excited? Yeah. Okay, let's put some more yogurt on yours. Can you just, maybe just like a scoop? <laughs> I can And a much. scoop? You put quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. That's okay. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on. Mm. Me, 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 me. Can you sprinkle it on mummies? Oh my. Okay, now sprinkle it on Benny's. And Sissy wants to do it on hers. I don't want to do it. You want to do it on No, 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 no. You can do it on your own. Yes, this one needs it. Good job. You want to put it on Mummy's right here? She likes this stuff too much. Okay, perfect. You can mix it if you want, or you can leave it like that. And now we're gonna add our pizza toppings. So I cut up some, ra or cut up. I got some raspberries. I have some blueberries. And oh my, oh. You it's a spoon, okay. And um, some kiwi. Let's add some toppings. Can you put this on your pizza? Yeah. Mm. I love raspberries. I love raspberries. You love them? Well, that's good. I'll take some blueberries now. Because they're good for you. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These are so cute. Those are cute babies. Oh my gosh, I love that. And look, we have 32 seconds left on our fish. 28 now. <laughs> that looks really good, Benny. My pizza. And I'm going to um, take pictures of, of everything so that you guys can see what it looks like at the end. Um, oh, another thing you could you could use Greek yogurt too. Yes, the good thing about cooking is that you can snack. Mm -hmm. Ooh, blueberry. <laughs> okay, one second. Okay, guys, so this is gonna be hot, so I need to wash out. Mm -hmm. Mommy just wants to check the fish because there's quite a few fillets in there, so I just want to make sure. It's okay. So there's three vents. I always say to make sure that you're pointing the vents away from you when you open it up. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Just so you can see what I'm seeing. Fish. I'm a and it pizza. smells delicious. If only you could smell what I'm smelling. I'm making a pizza. I'm making a pizza. Yep, fully cooked. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Oh, the light's gonna. How do people do that? <laughs> okay, this is a silly part of the video, but basically it's cooked. And it's delicious. Oh my goodness. So there you have it, guys. I made, we made, I'm sorry, we made a delicious, healthy meal in 20 minutes. No fuss, no muss, no guesswork veggies, rice, fruit pizza, and uh, some really delicious fish, all with some nice Epicure seasonings. It's My great. Family. It's a no-brainer. Can you say, it's a no-brainer? It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It was a lot of fun. We're gonna go eat dinner now. Ta-ta! Sound like Michelle from Full House.